Great. So the cleaners decide to put the hoover on at the time I want to film. Ugh. Hello my pidgeys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're good today. Now today's video, I am back here again with the Revolution Imagination Palette. Now I did a first testing video on this, I'll just link it up here so you can check that out. And yeah, I, I was just overwhelmed with all the colours and the colour selections, but I wanted to practice with it more. So I'm going to do another look today and I practiced with this look the other day and I thought it was a really nice look, so I wanted to share it with you. And I am still loving this palette, this contour powder highlight palette. It's it's one of my favourite palettes, like I'm I'm using it all the time, so that's great. So if you want to stick around and see what look I come up with this palette, then make sure you stay where you are, where you are, and don't forget to hit the like button if you really like it. And also if you want to become a pitch, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, we can carry on with the video. I've also got my farmer plats in, so we're digging it. Okay guys, so the colours that I'm gonna to pick today is I'm gonna go in with Oh, I forgot what I did now. I think I went in with... Why does this always happen? Right, I went in Mills, Honeybee, Loving Life, Get To Know, Shoppe, Huns, I think. Oh my God, I only did this the other day and I completely forgot already. So, we're gonna start off with a transition shade with Loving Life. We're gonna just put that everywhere onto the lid. So yeah guys, now I've started playing more of this palette, I am liking it more. I think it's because when I first did it, I was, I just didn't know what to pick. And I was on the spot, I didn't play with it before, it was a first impressions and it's like, I don't know what to do, you know what I mean? As I've been playing with it, these colours are really easy to blend. There is one colour that was really full outy, I, forget, I forgot which one it is, it's one on this side on this side of the palette, but it's it doesn't really matter if you're doing your eyes at first anyway. So that's all I noticed. But as for the rest of the colours, they seem to be okay. The only colours I haven't used yet properly is a baby girl. I've used a bit of limo and praise and praise. I haven't really used that much. But as for the others, I have dipped in. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in is um Mills. We're gonna go Mills, which is like this really pretty summery colour. I'm just gonna stamp Mills onto my lid, just all over like that. I'm just gonna keep stamping. And look how pigmented that is, guys. It is just so pigmented. And that is just going in with one. Okay, so already that is that is looking great. Oh my god, I love that colour. I'm gonna go with You Know. I think we used that last time in the palette. And I'm gonna put this above Mills. So like here. Just above it. We're gonna blend this out though, guys, so don't fret. I'm just gonna blend that out a bit. Just at the top. Okay, next we're gonna go in with Honey B, we're gonna put that above the red just to like blend it a bit. But as I'm doing this, I've lost the red now, so it's like disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. So we're probably gonna have to like go back into it. We're gonna go back into you know with that ready colour. What are people doing outside? I can hear people. And we're just gonna you know, darken it up a bit, get that red in there again. And I'm just going in stamping motions, guys, because if I, you know, blend, I just think it'll take the colour away. And I still want that colour, you know, quite strong. There's going to be a lot of dipping in and out. I'm going to go back in Honey Bee and I'm just going to go up here again. We have gone quite far up. I've never done this. I've never done a look like this before, which is quite scary right now. So I hope it kind of like comes all together because I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not used to this situation right here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go in another colour and I'm going to go in with Shoppy. And where am I going to do this? I'm going to put Shoppy like on the lid here. 
because I really think Shopee will tie in really nice with the colour horn. I swear last time I looked at this colour horn it had like green in it. So I don't know what's happened to that. And I'm going to put Shopee just on top of the lid. Just on the eyelid. I'm going to go in the colour Imagine. And I'm just going to stamp again. I'm going to put this right in the crease. There we go. So that's like darken it up a bit. And I'm gonna go back in that green shoppy and I'm just gonna stamp it again. So we have got this going on and oh my god, it looks kind of scary because I've never I've never done my eyeshadow that high before, so I'm a bit I'm just a bit skeptical about it, but I'm loving these colours. I'm kind of liking it. Also, guys, I'm gonna use a different eyeliner today. I've had this for a very long time and I just never use it, but I really want to like get into using more products. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate. I get nervous when I use this liner, so I hope that turns out okay. As for my eye, I'm really happy with this eye, but we're going to put some shimmer on. Now, the shimmer I'm going to use is Huns. Now, the last time I used this, it, it looked green, so I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but either way, if it was gold, it's still going to look great as well. So, I'm just going to put it on the lid. I'm just going to dab. And look at that, look how pretty that is guys. I'm just dabbing. How pretty is that? That is super pretty. But I'm gonna go in a smaller brush. I'm going to go in Huns again, but I'm gonna try get right in the edge. And I'm not even using any fixing spray guys. This is how pigmented it is. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go back into Shoppy again. Uh, at first I thought it said Soppy when I looked at the palette. I'm just gonna, you know, go there again and then I'm gonna go back and imagine and put imagine where we put that dark before. And I'm just stamping it guys because, I don't know, I feel like I get more of a color when I'm just stamping it. And then we're just gonna blend it a bit there. I am now going to put some eyeliner on. I'm gonna do this off camera because I hate doing eyeliner. So I'll see you when this eye is done and both of the eyeliner is done. Okay guys, not gonna lie, that eyeliner was difficult. Um, I just used the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and I used the brush on this and a different eyeliner brush, but honestly, this is probably, it didn't go right and this is a difficult eyeliner to work with, but I just wanted to try a different product because I always use the Delilah Cosmetics. Anyway, moving on, we're gonna go onto the base and I'm gonna start off the primer Delilah Cosmetics Underwear Future Resist skin primer why do i not know this off by art and guys i just want to ask i just want to ask for some advice i never know what kind of primer to go for because recently sometimes i find that my foundation goes flaky and i don't know whether that's to do with the primer i use because sometimes it goes flaky with the revolution pro pore primer and i don't know if it's because i'm using the wrong foundation i don't know i just need some advice because i just feel like I don't, I don't know, I just need some advice. I just feel like I need some advice. Can someone give me some advice, please? But I'm gonna test this, uh, I'm gonna test this primer again because when I've been using this one, it's leaving my foundation like crust, like not crust, like flake. And I don't want that to happen. The foundation that I always use is a Revlon Color Stay. And I think these two primers go great together. But I just don't know about that other primer yet. I feel like this side has gone crazy with the eyeshadow and it's really doing my head in and I don't know how to make it better. And I've just ruined it. I've just completely ruined it. I'm gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna use it last in perfection and I always use this. And we're just gonna highlight the under eye. So I'm just gonna go in my beauty blender. Why is the hairs everywhere? I'm also going to go underneath my eyeliner and I'm gonna try clean it up a bit. Okay guys, so I'm liking this powder in the other palette. I'm gonna go in the color Pretty. Oh, that's an annoying thing. I'm gonna go in the powder at Pretty Heart and I'm just gonna take that where I've concealed. And now we're going to do some contour. And I like this because I don't have to go and get my other palette, it's all here. And I'm gonna go in the color literally.
Look at that. It's not muddy or anything. That's what I like about it. Okay, and now I'm going to go in Warrior and I'm just going to go over it. There we go, and I absolutely love this contour. It's just so nice. Next, we're going to go into bronzer, and I'm gonna go in the Hula Benefit bronzer, and I'm just gonna bronze my face up. Okay, next, guys, I'm gonna go in my K-pop range from Primark, and this is the blush and highlight palette. I'm just gonna go in the blush here. This is Bon Bon, and this is so cute. I love this as a blush, so. Smells incredible too, always, always, always. And we're just gonna blush, and I absolutely love blush. I just, I just love blush. It just makes such a difference to your makeup. I mean, you can't put too much on, but I like it. And now we're going to do highlights, and I'm gonna go back into the Imagination palette. And I'm just gonna use this fixing spray first. This is the I Heart Revolution Vanilla and Coconut, and I'm just gonna spray my face. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pounce we're gonna go back in the highlight I'm gonna try go in slay my life which is on this side of the pan I don't know how good I'm gonna get it though <laughs> because it's like I don't know look at that look at that glow that is so glam <laughs> I am loving it Oh my god, I absolutely love that highlight. This is one of my favorites. Ah, yes. I'm gonna go in Get to Know. I think this will be a nice low lash line color. I'm gonna go with Mills as well, so I'm gonna mix them too. Next, guys, I'm just gonna go in my waterline and I'm gonna take the brown in this I Heart Revolution multi liner pen and I'm just gonna go in the waterline. Okay, now in for the inner corner. We are going to go in, Ooh, what shall we do for the inner corner? Okay, so for the inner corner, I am going to go in, mm, I wanna go in Forever Friend here. This looks really cute. We're gonna pop that in. Pop! Oh, that is a nice inner corner. I'm gonna go in this Primark lipstick. This came in, this came in a nude collection and I'm just gonna put this on. I think this will look nice. I don't know if I want to wear this one. I think I changed my mind. This is cute. This is a really summery one, this is. Yes, this is summery. I like the shine. I'm liking that shine. Ooh. So guys, what I've just put on was the I Heart Revolution Metallic Mermaid Lips. And this is in this, this is in the shade Shell Phone, which is super adorable. And I'm just gonna do my mascara now. I'm just gonna use my Lash Sensational. Right guys, I don't know whether to change this lipstick because, because it's metallic, it's like going in the lines of my lips. Can you see that? I don't really like when it does that. Lipstick try on number two. Right. This one's cute. So this is called uh, Metallic Unicorn Lips. It's metallic again. Please do not go in the lines of my lips. And this is called Whimsical. Please don't go in the line of my lips. Thank you. I've lost my eyebrow brush. Please be in here. I've lost my brush. I don't know where it's gone. Now I'm gonna go in my Revolution Pro Pomade and this is in the shade Taupe. So guys, now we've done our brows, we're gonna do that eyebrow highlight, which I never normally do. So we're gonna go in Angel here, which is a really nice color. We're gonna put that on a brow bone. Was that too much? <laughs> I think it's a bit too much in it. Okay, I think that was a bit too much, but we're working with it. So guys, here's the completed look, and I'll just show you now, close up. Ow. Yeah, I really have it. 
So guys, here is the finished makeover and I'm really happy with it. I think all the look just goes all together. And let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments below. And I tried to make this look quite easy. No cut creases, no concealer on the eye, just basic colors. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm so proud of myself. So, so guys, if you really like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become a page, make sure you subscribe button down below. That'd be super awesome. And whilst you're there, you may as well click the notification bell next to it so you'll be notified when I next upload. And yeah, let me know any video ideas in the comment section. Drop me a message. I love replying back to you. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.